Hello everyone, it's me again, Winston Chan from Pogda.net. We'll be taking a look at the Master Liquid ML 360 Illusion today, a cooler that brings you the next generation of bling. Let's start with the unboxing. So we aren't gonna have the box in front of you, and we'll just show you what's inside. First up, we have the ARGB Gen 2 controller, with three 3-pin three ARGB connectors on one side, a USB and power input port on the other. On the front face of the controller, we have the Cooler Master Emblem and also a status LED. This controller interfaces with the rest of the system via the motherboard USB header, which is what this cable is for. Then next up, we have the usual documentation. And then there's the ARGB Gen 2 splitter, which is quite odd, but we'll get to it in a bit. There's also the standard 4-pin PWM fan splitter, which lets you run all three fans of the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion of a single fan header. And then we have the Master Gel Pro Thermal Paste. And a bag of screws and mounting hardware for you to mount the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion onto just about any recent processor. Three MF120 Halo fans come included with the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion, and these fans are some of Cooler Master's flashiest. Aside from translucent fan blades, the fans also have rings around the sides, which also emit beautiful light in 16.7 million colors. However, the implementation of the RGB ring also means that the blades are shorter, which is why the performance numbers for this fan is actually not as good as some of Cooler Master's other fans. To support the ARGB Gen 2 capability, the MF120 Halo here actually has a smaller, proprietary 3 pin connector with a weirdly short wire. Luckily, the 4-pin fan connector is standard and is also of a standard length. And finally, we have the AIO. This is a pretty standard 360mm radiator, but Cooler Master increased the surface area by 25% to improve heat dissipation as compared to regular AIO radiators. The pump block is Cooler Master's usual fare, a 3rd gen dual chamber pump. It is a bit taller than usual, but nothing too far out of the ordinary. The tubes here are sleeved for a cleaner appearance. The top plate of the pump has a metallic brushed metal finish with the Cooler Master emblem etched into it. It is quite minimalist and it looks good even when not turned on. The reason why the pump block is taller than usual is because of this shiny block you see here. This houses the RGB LEDs which we will check out in a bit. The cold plate on the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion is flat but does have some machining marks. This doesn't really matter in terms of performance but I know some people do prefer mirror finishes for their cold plates. The four screw holes you see around the perimeter of the copper cold plate is what holds the detention kit to the pump block. While previous designs were claimed to be somewhat fragile despite us not finding any issues with it, despite repeated installations, it seems that Cooler Master has beefed up the plastic around the area to make it stronger. Now let's get to installing the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion. The installation process is actually quite straightforward. The fans are held down by these toolless screws that you can also use a screwdriver with to tighten them. I really quite like the option of screwing them down by hand and then using a screwdriver for the finishing touch, or you can do like our video guy is doing and just screw them down with the screwdriver from start to finish. As we are going to use the cooler with an AMD processor, we will be installing the AMD retention kit. As you can see, once again it is very simple, although this you can't screw in by hand. We will now spare you the gory details of our video guys struggle to get AMD's disgustingly annoying hooks to latch on, which is not Cooler Master's fault but AMD's. So yeah. And here we have the ARGB controller which has magnets in it to hold it in place on most cases. That's pretty nifty and unlike Cooler Master's previous models, this one you will most probably want to use the ARGB controller. One thing that you might want to take note of is to not install the fans in the wrong orientation like what our video guy did. An easy way to be sure is to look for the frame. On standard fans, air is pushed towards the frame. Depending on your case configuration, you might want to have the fans pull air through the radiator, but in our video guy's case, his SL600M case isn't suitable for such a configuration. Once everything is installed, you can see that it makes for an absolutely blinked out build. Alright, enough about that, let's talk performance. The Master Liquid ML360 Illusion sits right in the middle of our comparison chart. For context, our test system has a Core i5-11600K running at 4.9GHz with the V-Core set to 1.43V in the BIOS. 
The Master Liquid ML360 Illusion manages to keep the CPU drawing 227 watts on average pretty cool with an average temperature of 82 Celsius and a maximum temperature of 87 Celsius. This sees the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion outperform its smaller 240mm Braden by a fair margin by lags behind the MSI MPG Core Liquid K360 we checked out previously. However, when it comes to cooling, there's more to cooler than just raw cooling performance. The Master Liquid ML360 Illusion is actually the quietest cooler we have tested, despite a smaller 240mm cooler being in the mix. Meanwhile, the MPG Core Liquid K360 is the loudest cooler in the stack, which negates some of its performance to me. Cooler Master probably targeted a certain noise to performance ratio with the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion, and I would say that I'm quite pleased with the performance I see here. Of course, better fans could have probably increased performance without increasing the noise level, but I guess we have these fans to show off the ARGB Gen 2 capabilities of the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion. And what capabilities does ARGB Gen 2 bring to the table, you ask? Well, you can set each LED separately, even if it is behind an ARGB splitter. This is supported in Cooler Master's Master Plus software, and as you can see here, it offers quite a few standard lighting modes. There's Spectrum, where you can adjust the speed of the changing colors, Static, which is, well, self-explanatory, Reload, where the lights go from end to end, and Recoil, which has the lights bouncing off at the ends. Breeding is also a familiar mode with all the LEDs breeding in tandem. Refill is a pretty nice mode as well, letting you see just how fine is the control over the LEDs as the LEDs light up one by one. Fuel flow is also a very interesting mode, although it can be a bit confusing as the colors change. And then rainbow mode, which has the colors shift smoothly for a very Kedai Tom Yum look, if you are into that sort of thing. Now we get into the customizable settings. Here we have the multi-layer mode, where you can set each of the fan and pump block to a different mode. This is where the ARGB Gen 2 feature really shines over ARGB Gen 1 solutions. So instead of having all the devices connected behind the splitter sharing the same mode, here you can actually customize each device separately. Custom mode goes even deeper with you being able to assign each LED on each RGB Gen 2 device, or in the case of the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion, each of the LEDs on the three fans and the pump block. This is really quite mind-blowing to me, although the LEDs will be static only, so you can't exactly create cool motions or whatnot with this. And yes, I know we talked about how the fans are not supposed to be like this for a video guys build, but he made a mistake. Let's forgive him. The testing is also not done on the setup in this video, so it's all good. With all that said, I think that the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion is a pretty decent deal for RM579. You get an included ARGB Gen 2 controller, 3 very bright fans, and good cooling performance. If you want to set up a blinked out build, this is probably the best option for you. It is compatible with most relevant platforms today and has a beautiful sleek design that works great with all that ARGB lighting. If you are using it with an Intel platform, the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion is very easy to install. It still performs quite well at good noise levels and all in all, it is reasonably priced for a 360mm AIO. What I don't quite like is the fan splitter having these mustard and ketchup cables. Having them fully sleeved would have been nice. The fan and pump's proprietary ARGB connector is also not something I want to see. It's quite funny, because the ARGB controller itself has the standard 3-pin ARGB header, but Cooler Master decided to use the smaller connectors on the ARGB Gen 2 devices themselves. The fans are also not the best performing ones out there, with the airflow and static pressure leaving much to be desired. We also encountered a bug where the lighting does not turn off completely when the PC is shut down, but apparently Cooler Master is working hard to fix this, so fingers crossed. And that's it for our review of the Master Liquid ML360 Illusion. What do you think? Would you get this for your next build or an upgrade for your current setup? Let us know! As usual, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already, 
Make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more content like this. I'm Vincent Chan from Podda.net and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!